Participating groups shall submit to the coordinator of the Tenala Committee the following. An accomplished official entry form, a scenography and synopsis of the group's performance, name of official coordinator and watcher. The official choreographer and head musician should have undergone the dance and music workshops conducted by the committee. The following are the requirements. Each group shall be required to have a minimum and maximum number of participants dressed properly. The concept for this year's street dancing competition is the integration of South Cotabato's core values to their distinct cultural practices, customs, and tradition in a cultural dance presentation. The costumes, colors, and musical instruments allowed per category should be within the specified items in the matrix. Only handheld props shall be allowed during the street parade. The street parade and the final showdown will be judged separately. Prizes to be awarded are as follows. Street Parade Champion, Final Showdown Champion, First Runner-Up, Second Runner-Up for each category and Best in Music. The Tinalak soundtrack shall be the official music during the street dance exhibitions. The final showdown shall be accompanied by a live music. Performances shall be a minimum of six to a maximum of eight minutes. Counting starts as the music or movement starts and ends with the final pose. The decision of the Board of Judges is final and irrevocable. Ladies and gentlemen, please witness the grandest celebration and presentation of our tribe people, the pride of South Cotabato. Thank you, Ma'am Lush. Now we will have the reading of the criteria. We call on the, our honorary chairperson of the Committee on the Street Dancing Competition, Honorable Edgar G. Sambog. Thank you, sir. Uh, ito po ang criteria sa ating street dancing competition. The street parade and the final showdown will be judged uh, separately. For the street parade, we have the following criteria. Street performance, 30 points, choreography, 30 points, visual appeal, 15 points, and discipline, 25 points, or a total of 100 points. For the final showdown, the following criteria will be used. Costume and props, 20 points, choreography, 30 points, performance, 30 points, and music, 20 points, or a total of 100 points. Marami salamat po. Thank you, Honorable Edgar G. Sambog. Looks like you really have a very good performance this year. Lucky for us, we've got credible judges to help us with the detailed task of picking the winners. Let's meet our Board of Judges. Our first judge earned his degree in Bachelor of Secondary Education major in social science at the Philippine Normal University and completed his MA in Anthropology at Siliman University in 2011. In 2008, he won Best Choreography for his work Panata during the Douglas Nieves Choreography Clinic in Manila. In 2014, he brought recognition to the country when he bagged the Silver Prize Award for his choreography entitled Sayao Pinoy performed at the International Youth Fellowship Cultural Dance Festival in Korea. Recently, he was awarded as one of the outstanding Albayana for tourism, culture, and arts by the provincial government of Alba of Albay. Currently, he is the director of the Audience Development Division of Arts Education Department and the Artistic Programmer for Dance at the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, our first judge is Mr. Ronnie B. Mirabuena. Our second judge is a former soloist and company member of Ballet Philippines, performed with the company around the Philippines and in various international dance festivals and expositions 
in Spain, France, Germany, India, Japan, Singapore, and Hong Kong. Received the Lyra Award for Excellence in Choreography in the Third International Delphic Games. Executive Council Member and Assistant Secretary for Dance of the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. Artistic Director of the USA Kawilihan Dance Troupe of the University of San Agustin and the ADS Group of Performing Arts. Ladies and gentlemen, our second judge is Miss Annie de Vinagracia Sarturio. <laughs> Our third judge gained recognition in the music scene as one of the pioneers of Mindanao contemporary music. He was conferred by the Tribal Communities Association of the Philippines Davao City Chapter with the indigenous title Dabu Langkuban in recognition for his unwavering dedication in promoting indigenous arts and culture. He got involved in theater production as musical director and actor. A recipient of the Kata Music Award for the Best World Music Album in 1997 and Best Music for the Film Pung Hung Sayuta in the 32nd Gawad Urian Awards 2009. His performances, both in theater and music, brought him to Japan, Korea, Vietnam, Taiwan, Singapore, London, Oxford, Dublin, Ireland, and other parts of Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, our third judge is Mr. Ronolfo Popong Landero. Our fourth judge, one of the country's prime mover of culture and arts programs, a dance and theater artist, presently the head of the arts section of the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. 2014 NCCA Service Awardee and recipient of 2018 Pillars of NCCA Award. Former Associate Member and Philippine Representative of the UNESCO International Council of Organizations of Folklore Festival. An International Cultural Empresario and Official Delegate to International Events in South Korea, Mexico, Italy, Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, Japan, Myanmar, and France. Ladies and gentlemen, our fourth judge is Mr. Ferdinand P. Isleta. Our fifth judge is a committee member of the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. She is an event organizer catering the culture and arts events under the city government of Davao. A two-time awardee in Gawad Urian as best in production design. A visual artist, musician, and theater performer at the Cultural Center of the Philippines and perform in Vancouver, Canada, and India. Ladies and gentlemen, our fifth judge is Ms. Marie C. Kayas. <laughs> what the finalists today have to offer and I'm certain everyone in the audience is feeling the same way so let's begin with entry number one in the mountainous part of South Cotabato there lived a Tiboli hero in a place called Lemlonai Lemlonai has been home to the Tiboli people who lived a simple yet meaningful life they treasure core values of love and friendship as reflected in their shared ownership of the land Thus, the community people could freely roam around the ancestral domain for hunting and planting as their source of living. During Tudbalu's absence, he gave Dato Bong the authority over the land and the people. As time passed by, Tao de Mefek, or settlers, began to enter the community where they were welcomed and accommodated. Dato Bong has developed trust among these settlers and sold the piece of land to them without prior consultation to Tudbulul. The community people were surprised that the number of settlers have influx in this ancestral land. Brought by this situation, community people defended their land powerlessly and vulnerably. Thus, their chief Dato Bong was captured and tortured. As a result, they grew in despair, anxiety, and were mourning over the land. Nga Boon, the daughter of Dato Bong and Bui Lamfei, his wife, cried and screamed for help. 
powerless and vulnerable as they were, community people did nothing but witness bloodshed from Dato Bong. The melancholic and depressed mood of the community has changed upon the arrival of Tiboli warriors and Tudbolol. They, fight, they fought against the culprits and retrieved Dato Bong from his capture. As a hero, Tudbolol initiated a settlement between Dato Bong and the head of the settler to remain true to the values of the community, the Lem Lonai. Then, Sikeling Loos, or a brotherhood, was made. It is a sacred ritual made for the resolution of the conflict between the settlers and the community people. This was done by Tudbolo's verbal incantations that whoever transgresses peace shall suffer from illness or worse, death. Finally, a feast was made in a call for celebration where love, openness, peace, and brotherhood illuminate. Witnessing the heroic deed of a Tiboli legendary hero, ladies and gentlemen, the pride of the municipality of Lake Cebu, the Santa Cruz Mission School Incorporated, the Colon High School proudly brings you its interpretation of Tudbulol. I gonna come
nang dunim luas na isan seket. Na ketam sekom datuk bong, na ketam sekom. Tao mulut tonok. Ma ilo. Ini kelang luas. Ma ilo yang kuik ke sekemung. Na ke sesatu nawa. Thank you so much, Santa Cruz Mission School Incorporated, the Colon High School from the municipality of Lake Cebu. And we have now the contingent number two from the municipality of Santo Nino. Indigenous Peoples' Right Act of 1997 was established to protect and promote the welfare of indigenous people in the Philippines as mandated in Republic Act No. 8371, the representation of IP leaders in policy-making bodies. The story behind this lies on the deep-seated valleys of General Santos, where a group of people follow a strong and organized leadership structure. Bong Fulong, an honorable leader of the tribe, is the fiercest, wealthiest, skillful, just, and with highest integrity, who is endowed to lead the tribe which was chosen by the great elders. Searching for a bong fulong, the elder had been secretly observing a boy in the village of whom he is pleased. At the right age, this boy had grown endowed with the attributes of a leader and was proclaimed bong fulong. At first, he was a good leader with just and fair judgment. But time flies differently, that he was overpowered by his dark self and greed. He becomes selfish and evil desires inflicted in all his decision makings. Family fought against family that brought the serenity of the village. And the community was divided, which had almost started a tribal war. In the middle of desolation, hatred, pain and agony, that put the village in a total depression and denouement emerged the peacemaker to deal with the great misunderstanding. 
It is found out that the cause of this disharmony in the village was the Bong Fulong's sudden change of attitude. He was then ousted from his position and peace had reigned back to the village with the help of Saklang Luas, a reconciliation ritual to end the conflict by cutting a rattan at the middle held by two parties. Upon the peace treaty, a Bong Fulong was proclaimed who reigned with peace and love of the village and the Bilaan people. Ladies and gentlemen, from the municipality of Santo Nino, the Kalingawan Dance Troupe of Santo Nino National High School presents Bong Fulong. While waiting for our contingent number two, we would like to remind everyone that we are live at the Nalak Festival page and Provincial Government of South Cotabato Facebook page. Also, we are now being uh, seen live at the uh, Alunan Avenue LED and also at the SMRA LED and at the Provincial Capital LED. Also, our participants have two to three minutes preparation every, before every performance, so please bear with them. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, from the municipality of Santo Nino, the Kalingawan Dance Troupe of the Santo Nino National High School presents Bong Fulong. Falingoyo imango, tanun falami pong pulo.
Falami Banu, Tanun Falami Bong Fulong To. Tanun Falami Bong Fulong Tani. Dai Bolo Tani. Falling with Tani. Tanu. So Tali Nung Tan Go Falami Bong Fulong Tani Jadi Bali. Ki Bo Tugi To. Yummy, yummy, yummy! Beer to spin out! Come on! Yeah, clear! I'm so new to! Da! 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 Da!
Thank you so much, Kalingawan Dance Troupe from the municipality of Santo, Ni Santo Nino for that very awesome Boom Polong presentation. Meanwhile, we would like to invite everyone later this morning, 10 a.m., the Chunan sa Bahay Kubo and the final judging of the Bahay Kubo competition at the front of Provincial Capital. Also, we'd like to invite everyone at the anniversary luncheon at the South Cotabata Gymnasium and Cultural Center. And don't forget, tonight, 7 p.m., the Tinara, a night of rock music at the South Cotabata Sports Complex. Kung nakikita po ninyo yung nandyan banda sa likod, dyan po ang ating Tinara. And also, at 10 p.m., we are going to have the fireworks display. crowd we have about 80 to 120 dance and props men plus 30 to 50 musicians so that's about 170 participants for each team that's 170 children nurturing their knowledge about our culture and sharing their best to us The Medal Balance category is from the Toronto Academy of Tom Parker. A typical scenario was set with the ethno-linguistic community called Blaan inhabiting the lower valley of South Cotabato called Tamfaken, a mountainous place with waterfalls which they called the Spring of Life. Long before Christian civilization came, Blaan converged following folkloric tradition based on elders' beliefs that everything is interconnected into the forces of nature. The Blaans are happy and helpful people living in simple ways, doing the daily routines, yet the quest for survival and acceptance in the society race, an eagerness to face the challenge in the quest of achieving excellence through education. It is a great driving force that pushes the Blaan family their chosen family member to school. But the noble aim of acquiring education and earning a degree twisted the mindset of the Blaan's younger generations to forget their cultural roots and practices leading to the betrayal on their elders and family that resulted into greediness, conflict of interests, and losing the rights on ancestral domain. One night, or one night of betrayal came when the group of bandits successfully invaded the Blaans' peaceful community, stealing the most precious ancestral domain. The hopeless community has nothing to do but to run and escape from the fierce attack of this rebel group. Seeing the most hilarious scenario and sudden fall of the Blaan community, a realization and repentance fill the heart of the younger Blaan and take the initiative to ask for forgiveness and encourage the group of bandits who happens to be their Blaan brothers and sisters to end the war. A ceremonial event of peace pact agreement called Sadyan D or Blood Compact sealed the act of reconciliation. Merrymaking began and the celebration flourished through a thanksgiving people gathered in celebration for the abundance of nature which led to gathering of the community to share their joy and happiness. It is a typical scenario and usual practice of the Blaan people that signifies unity. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our pride and honor to give you to the Tanglao Cultural Dance Ensemble of Coronado Academy of Tampacan Incorporated proudly presents Akdaog, a triumphant endeavor in protecting ancestral domain, a quest for excellence and loyalty over betrayal.
Salamat sa inyong pagbabalik loob.
Thank you so much, Tanglao Cultural Dance and Sam of Coronadal Academy of Tampakan Incorporated, fostering honesty and integrity in building a commitment to war. Hindi ko na mabasa ang batang uli. Alright, basahin natin uli mamaya. But meanwhile, we uh, would like to announce the prizes for the street parade. The street parade this morning will have only one champion. Yeah, and they will receive, that winner will receive 50,000 pesos plus, meron tayong plus, additional cash prize from France Cycle in the amount of 50,000 pesos. Maraming maraming salamat, Trans Cycle. And for the final showdown, partner, how much will they receive for the champion Thank for each for the category? Final showdown we have for the champion we have the 350,000 and the first runner up is 300,000 and second runner up is 250,000. So it's for each category. sa lahat, makatotohan ng tagpo ng pananampalataya. Matapos ang unos, dulot ng rumaragasang baha, na wala ang lahat ng kanilang mga ari-arian, sinaklot ng lungkot ang masayang sandali, bawat hinagpis at ikbi sa kapitbisig at pagpapunyagi, unti-unting sumibol ang tunay na lakas ng lahing kayumanggi. Walang problemang urungan ang Pilipino sa bayan ni Juan sa tulong ng mapakilin, magpakaglingang gobyerno tulad ng South Cotabato sinimulan nilang muling pandayin ang kanilang mga pangarap ang serbisyo ng pamahalang mapagkalinga na ipadama sa tulad nilang maralita maraming ahensya ang nagtulong-tulong dahilan upang ang pamilya ay madaling nakakaahon ang paaralan ay naging lundayan ng edukasyong walang kinikilalang edad Estado o maging lahi at lipi. Pinatunayan ng kailang anak na sa wagas ng pagmamahal at suporta sa isa't isa ang tagumpay na inaasam. Ay mapasakamay ngang talaga. Nagkaroon ng mga kaibigang handang tumulong at nagsilbing pangalawang pamilya hanggang sa maabot ng lahat ng nasa puso niya. Hinamo noon ngunit agad umahon. Nagsumikap ng husto. Nagtapos ng kolehiyo, nagtagumpay at handa na sa daratal pang hamon ng buhay. Ang dating tumanggap ng tulong, ngayon ay handa ng magbigay ng kalinga at pag-asa sa iba. Sapagkat ang mga pagsubok na dinaanan ng pamilya ay naging lundayan at inspirasyon sa iba. Minamahal naming mamamayan ng South Cotabato mula sa lungsod ng Coronadal, pinagmalaking inihandog ng Coronadal National Comprehensive High School ang isang masining na patatanghal panumbalikan ang nakaraan mamuhay ng mapayapa at marangal 
sa kasalukuyan at tungo sa maunlad na kinabukasan. Hali kayo, sama-sama, magsaya at magdiwang.
Ang may namo niya makagagawang sa tanan, padamogin niya salamat. Sabihak sa mga problema nga nag-alabot sa akon, imo kita po maging bulikan yung manapas ang ilang mga problema. Ginoon, padamogin ka salamat. Pagtatapos sa inyong lahat, I now declare you graduate! Sa Facebook Live 
Ayan, hindi uh, namin pagbabasa ang mga comment ninyo, pero happy Tinanak Festival sa inyong lahat. the entry number two for the Sadyahan Sakta Patada. Sa bayan ng Tupi, sa probinsya ng South Cotabato, matatagpuan ng isang pamayanan ng mga magsasaka. Ang pooping ito ay kilala bilang Tarsier Sanctuary of the South. Ang pagliligawan at pag-iibigan ng mga kaminataan at kadalagahan ay hindi maiiwasan. Kaya naman, Nagkada upang palad si Namang Ray at Aling Aida. Binayayaan sila ng puong may kapal ng isang malusog na anghel bilang bunga ng kanilang pagmamahalan, si Jun Jun. Ipinagpatuloy ng mga masisipag, masisikap at matyatsagang magsasaka ang pagtatanim ng mga gulay, prutas at mga bulaklak upang maitaguyod ang kanilang pamumuhay. Hindi rin nila nakalimutang mag-alay ng pasasalamat sa dakilang lumikha. Nag-aral si Junjun ng elementarya, lalo pa siyang itinaguyod ng kanyang mga magulang sa pamamagitan ng masaganang pagsasaka hanggang maabot ang sekundarya. Tumulong din siya sa pagtitinda ng kanilang ani. Sa di inaasahang pangyayari na humaling si Mang Ray sa pagsusugal. Subalit, Nagkaroon ng pagkamulat at pagsisisi. Natag nagtapos si Junjun ng kolehiyo bilang isang alagad ng batas. Nagpasalamat siya sa kanyang mga magulang. Di niya ikinahiyang magsasaka ang mga ito. Pinasalamatan niya rin ang taong naging bahagi ng kanyang buhay, lalo na ang kanyang mga guro. Mga manunood mula sa bayan ng Tupi, ating tunghayan ang pagtatanghal ng mga mag-aaral ng Tupi National High School na pinamagatang Karitong Puno ng Pag-asa. Check, check. Mic check. Mic check. 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 Mic one. One two. Check. 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 Mic check. One two three. Mic check. Check. Mic check. Mic check.
Ipapasok po sana ang aking anak sa elementarya. Tuloy po kayo, Ginoo. Anak, mag-aral ka na mabuti. Aalis muna si tatay. Magsasakam muna kami.
Thank you so much, Tupi National High School. Another very colorful presentation for the uh, kasadyan sa kapatagan category. Thank you so much sa suporta ng mga taong nasa likod ng kanilang performance. Someone's watching from Japan. Hello, Miss Violeta Murai. Coming right up is the next category, no other than... At Sagayan, Alalan, we have three contingents. We have Edwards National High School from Tiboli, South Cotabato. Christian School of Pulomolok, Pulomolok, South Cotabato. And Notre Dame of San Torino from the Municipality of San Torino, South Cotabato. But of course, we would like to thank the uh, contingents of the Casarian sa Kapatagan, the Coronto National Comprehensive High School and the Tupi National High School. We would like to thank also the coordinators of the KNCHS. We have the Michael Floyd, Kiendo, Sharon, Y. Sumera, Marela Ferrer, Eric Batidaran, and Benhur Abulensha. As well as for the Tupi National High School. For the Tupi National High School, we would like to thank the coordinators, Ms. Jacqueline D. Lusala, Mr. John Enrico C. Peng, Mr. Alan J. Cordova, Mr. John Ray Felicilda, and Ayan Vasquez. And we would also like to thank the choreographer, ang may utak na kami ng presentation, Richard Superio, and the support of their principal, Mr. Simplicio T. Valdeza Jr. So for the choreographer of the Colorado National Comprehensive High School, we have Doni L. L. F. La Cuesta, Pierre Tipeduela, Doni Paraguya, and Sepa Rojas. And with the support of the school principal, Sir Valentin C. Tipeduisi G. Again, we would like to invite everyone today. Later today, we are going to have the Tinara, a night of rock music. See you here at the SM Ra Complex. 7 p.m. Ayan, maaga-aga pa. Pwede sa estudyante ito kasi 7 p.m. Also, the fireworks display at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. yung ating fireworks display. So, watch out for those events. Mamayang gabi ho, kita-kits tayo dito sa SM Raa Complex. And for the next category, we have the... At Sagayan, Alalan. And for entry number one. Before we introduce the next performance, we would like to request ang ating mga naggagandahang babae dito sa harapan na nakapayong ng violet. Kung pwede lang mo ay pakibaba ng inyong payong at baka hindi makita ng judge yung performance baka mabawas ng score. Maraming, maraming salamat po sa inyong cooperation. Again, for the third category, Katsagayan Alalan, please welcome entry number one prejudice and discrimination two terms which mean unfair treatment dislike and discord two sad realities which seem to exist between the two groups of residents the highlander or the lumads and the lowlander or the civilized muslims the muslims esteem themselves as superior over the lumads whom in the other way feel inferior but thanks anyway to the values of kinship and brotherhood strong family orientation and unity in diversity which trample down the power of prejudice and discrimination as depicted in the story of introducing islam a story of mamalu and tabunawai long before the coming of the spaniards they lived by the side of pulangi river presently known as cotabato city the two brothers the eldest mamalu and the youngest tabunawai Mamalu taught his brothers all the necessary crafts and skills. Tabunawai learned by heart all his eldest daughter, brother's teachings. They both lived according to the practices and traditions they were born to. However, when a man from Arabia named Sharif Kabungsuan came and introduced Islam, Mamalu refused to believe in his God. Tabunawai, on the other hand, opted to embrace the faith and submit himself to Islam conversion. At first, Mamalu expressed resistance to his brother's decision. But later, as he was assured that his brother will not separate from him, he respected Tabunawai's freedom to decide on his own. 
Mamalu accepted Tabunawe's proposition to stay by the side of the river while he will not go far but only by the hills. They also agreed to share whatever each of them could have, Mamalu said. Let us not allow this belief to destroy our blood relationship as brothers and let our brotherhood not an end with our own lives. He also said, I shall pass this agreement between us and to our children and grandchildren. Tabunawai agreed saying, I shall keep your word in my heart, brother. Your desires are mine too. And so Tabunawai stayed by the lowlands and from him descended the Magintanawans and the lowlanders, where Mamalu dwell to the hills or highlands, and from him descended the Tidurai, Tiboli, Blaan, and other highlanders of today. They share each other's produce, treating each other fairly. No prejudice and never has discrimination. Ladies and gentlemen, witness the Edwards National High School highlighting the core values of kinship and brotherhood, strong Orienta family orientation and unity in diversity to portray Introducing Islam, a story of Mamalu and Tabunawai.
gumano sa mga sul pagalitan ng Islam. Tiro katawan, nalangon ka na ba niya at susultan o? Sa kami ba niya at imamalunan sul kami? Isabi pipunan na o? Siya ka nalangon, pagalikan o sa apon, kadain sugo ka o agama Islam. Hindi ko ba yan ano ba sa mga sul pagalitan o aluman? Isang bayang tanulangon, kapanganigin ni tanong ko Allah o Tala, isang kapya tanong ko Allahon, Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين Okay, thank you so much, Edwards National High School from the municipality of Jiboli, South Cotabato. Right now, we are live via ABS-CBN. The celebrations live in South Central Mindanao area via ABS-CBN TV stations, South Cotabato, General Santos City, and Cotabato City. Ayan, meron ako nabasang magagandang shout-out kanina kahit putol-putol yung signal natin. Sabi ni Roberto Junior Alfeche Opeña, Philippines never
never cease to satisfy me and amaze me anytime they showcase their talent, skills, and culture. See you soon, Philippines. Viva! So much love from Ontario, Canada. Ayan. Hello there, Roberto Jr. Also, meron din tayong shoutout from Melmar. Thank you so much live from Singapore. Go Corona Dal Academy daw. Supporter pala ito ng Corona Dal Academy. Meron din from Del Carmen Pinyafiel, Gina Lynn. Watching you here in Oman. Go, go. Proud to be Tang Pakenyo. My hometown. See you next year daw. Uuwi siya next year. And si Jim Kyle Apeliego Ampuyas. Ito. Since wala daw contingent ang surala kay... Ay, gans lang na ba? <laughs> I'll give my hundred support to municipality of Santo Nino. O yung kapitbahay nila ng munisipyo sa naportahan. Go get the gold daw, Santo Nino. Basahin pa natin yung ibang magandang mga comment dito. Hindi ko mabasa lahat. Pasensya na po. Pa-shout out sa taga Capricorn Boarding House 2P. Nga asa lang sa live stream. Nga awala ka mo nagkatyo dire. From Drake City, Padernal Batalyador. Hello, hello there. And happy 2019 Tinalak Festival. And meron pa dito. Delpa Salayan Sabang. Mas pala lang din daw siya sa live. Lani makatanaw na siya. I'm watching from Hong Kong. Hello there, Delpa. And of course... Yes, partner, we will have the entry number two for the Katsagayan Alalan from the Christian School of Polomolo. Isinalin ni Sultan Laot Luisan sa maging ganaw ang pangangasiwa ng kaharap kaharian sa kanyang anak na si Sultan Kudarat dahil sa kanyang likas na katalinuhan. Isang malaking responsibilidad ang pangalagaan at protektahan ang kanyang mga nasasakupan. Lalo na ang mga likas na yaman na siyang nagbibigay ng buhay sa mga tao tulad ng katubigan at kabundukan. Pangunahing ikinabubuhay ng tribo ang pagtatanim ng mga kawayan, niyog at iba. Si Sultan Kudarat ay isang matapang at matalinong pinuno. Biniyayaan ng isang magandang asawa at mga anak. Subalit, ang magandang pamumuhay ng mga magindanawon ay nabalot ng karahasan. Sinakop ng mga dayuang Kastila ang mga karatig puok. Kaya naghanda ang Sultan para sa isang matinding labanan sa pagitan ni Sultan Kudarat at General Corcuera. Natalo ang mga Muslim. At sa galit, ipinasunog ng mga Kastila ang kuta ni Kudarat. Maraming buhay at salapi ang nawala para mapasuko at magapi si Kudarat. Ngunit dahil sa katalinuhan at katapangan nito, nahirapan ang mga Kastila. Lalo namang naging mailap si Sultan Kudarat, sinikap niyang mapanatili ang pagkakaisa ng kanyang kababayang Muslim. Matatag ang kanyang paninindigan na ipagtanggol ang kanyang mga nasasakupan at pananampalataya. Nagtagumpay si Sultan Kudarat na mapanatili ang kalayaan sa mga lupang nasasakupan. At dahil sa pagsisikap ni Sultan Kudarat, naging maunlad ang Maguindanao. Ang iniwang kaharian ng kanyang ama ay kanyang inalagaan at ipinagtanggol hanggang sa kanyang kamatayan. Hanggang sa kanyang huling sandali ng buhay ay hindi niya pinayagang mawala ang kalayaan. At ngayon, ating balikan ang kabayanihan ni Sultan Kudarat mula sa Christian School of Polomolok, Polomolok, South Cotabato. Ito ang tribo sa lalan.
balunda bali bali samba bali bali samba you ka pa pa banda bali na ka samba Kaisa ang susi para sa ating kapayapaan. Huwag nating hayaang agawin ng mga dayuhan ang ating mga lupain. Matuto tayong gumalang sa mga iba nating kultura at paniniwala. At higpitan natin ang ating pananampalataya. Mabuhay!
Christian School of Pulomolok from Pulomolok, South Cotabato. Tribo Salalan. Ayan. Before we introduce the next performers, we'd like to sh- make a shout out sa mga nanonood sa Facebook Live. Nandiyan ang mga taga Santo Nino, Honey Grace Gaid. Hello. Daryl Ladaran. Nagpapashout out ho sila. And uh, Jem Carion Alfonso. Sabi niya, lahat talaga maganda. Agree ako doon. Maganda lahat eh. Roslyn Hervasho, shout out, watching from Mati Davao Oriental. Ayan ang layo ng taga Mati. And also we have here, uh, paulit na, nabasa ko na ito. Ayan, hindi ko na babasa yung iba. Alright, so mamaya na naman ho yung ibang nagpapashout out sa aring Facebook Live. Meanwhile, let us welcome our entry number three. The Battle of Rio Grande. The Maguindanaon tribe was known for its rich culture and heritage, their way of living rooted from the wealthiness of culture and religion. Their primary source of living is fishing, accompanied with feasting, which originally part of their recreation. Their tribe leader called Datu exhibits the rituals, performing the calling of the spirits of air, water, forest, and fire to spare the day from celebration and drive away the evil spirits that may harm the celebration. On the summit of the celebration, an offering is presented to the gods for their appeals. Peace and order in the community are safeguarded by the elders of the tribal council, who are respected leaders called Datus. The warriors of the past are also designated protectors of the community. They were selected on their ability to show their powers and be a model to their community. The conflict occurred when the invasion of the Spaniards began. The Maguindanaon tribe, known for its assertiveness, defended their territory. The Maguindanaon warriors protected their land, family, and community. The tribe successfully won the battle against the invaders. The war was over and everyone prepare food for the thanksgiving and prosperity celebration called Kanduli. Everyone rejoices to the rhythm of agongs, bamboos, kurintang, and dabakan. After the Kanduli, a fluvial parade called Ginakit, where it showcases the aesthetics, beliefs, festivities, and colorful costume of Maguindanaon. The festival depicts abundance and culture of empowered people of the Kutang Bato or Kota Bato. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome the contingent number three from the municipality of Santo Nino. The Teatro Amorseco dance troupe of the Notre Dame of Santo Nino presents the Battle of Rio Grande.
Morseco dance troupe of Notre Dame of Santo Nino for the Battle of Rio Grande entry.
Those are our eight contingents for the three categories of the street dancing showdown. Pasasalamatan ho natin sila mamaya uli ay nag isa, isa But meanwhile, gusto kong batiin yung mga nagpapabati mo na sa Facebook Live bago tayo mapunta sa ating most anticipated part of the program which is the announcement of winners and awarding of prizes. Kanina pa nagpapabati ito, baka ibato na yung cellphone sa akin pag hindi na pa ba nabati kasi nandito lang sa tabi-tabi. Mr. Jaffet, uh, nakalimutan ko na yung apelyado. Mr. Jaffet, hello, Happy Tinalak Festival. And also, would like to uh, greet Happy Tinalak Festival to mga people of Barangay Esperanza. Uh, Corona del City kasi baka hindi ako pauwiin mamaya. <laughs> Ayan, basta ko na ho ha. Ayan, marami pa po gusto magpabati, pero kinukulang na tayo sa oras. Sana we have enough time para mabati kayong lahat. Anyway, next time, punta ho kayo talaga dito sa Tinalang Festival. Yung sabi ng iba, mas maganda daw sa, la sa live, live stream. Kasi hindi nila nararamdaman yung init at silaw na nararamdaman natin. Pero mas maganda ho sana kung kasama ka namin kayo dito nag-enjoy sa Tinalang Festival. So next year, punta ho kayo dito sa atin. Alright, so would like to thank again our contingents for the Madabe Land category, we have the Santa Cruz Mission School Incorporated from the Colon Junior High School and Santa Nino National High School and also Corona Dal Academy of Tampacan Incorporated. For the Kasadyahan sa Kapatagon, we would like to thank our Corona Dal National Comprehensive High School to the City of Corona and UP National High School from the Municipal South And for the Katsigayan Alalan category, Maraming salamat po sa Edwards National High School, Christian School of Polomolok, and Notre Dame of Santo Nino. Ayan ho, hindi ho biro ang ginawang effort at practice ng mga batang ito. Nagsakripisyo ho ito sila ng init at ulan. At syempre ang pagod nila, isinakripisyo nila para magpakita ng napakagandang show ngayong araw sa ating Tinalak Festival. But of course, we'd also like to thank our board of uh, judges for uh, seriously and uh, effortlessly. Siguro naman, sabi na sabi na sa mga judges natin, uh, picking the winners for this day's competition or for this day's showdown. Maraming maraming salamat po, Mr. Ronnie B. Mirabuena. Salamat din po, Ms. Anne, the Gracia Sartorio. Also, we'd like to thank ang walang tupas, Mr. Ronolfo Popong Landero. Ang walang tupas natin Bawat taon. And then also Mr. Ferdinand P. And also Miss Marie C. Cayas. Thank you so much, you so much for being here with us today and for picking the winner for this year's showdown. Of course, our chairperson is no less than the provincial budget officer herself. Miss Luz Perpetua Fontanilia. Our co-chairperson, our official social welfare and development officer, Mang Heidi Agusti. Our coordinators, Miss Maria Sale Palma and Miss Indira Cagaanan. And we have our artistic and monitoring team. We have Sir Popo Nandero, Sir Jimmy Cahillo, and Mang Vivian Marie Cahillo. At bago pa ako magpatuloy sa ating committee, also we'd like to acknowledge din pala yung presence ng ating mga bloggers and vloggers and ang ating mga photographers na nandiyan sa ba mga videographers hello po sa inyong lahat happy kinalak festival at maraming maraming salamat po for being with us today nagpapabati mula kay Emil yan si Emil lang natandaan ko for the ways and means coordinator Mr. Lee Marvin Lumapas and Mr. Benito Castro and for the ways and means members we have Mr. Rex Magno Eric Cagaanan Romy Patriarca Gilward Del Senado and Glenn Boulevard. For our technical support staff, we have Mr. Roy Gumatico, Mr. Richie Penuela, Mr. Paul Jan Penuela, Mr. Jose Diaz Jr., Mr. Bobby Apurada, Jess Solantoy, Ronido Lorenzo, Rani Guillones, Dennis Cacabra, and Manuel Muleta. And for the tabulators and secretariat, we have Ms. Ranel Pedrico, Liel Fontanilla, and our official timekeeper, Ms. Sheen May Laguda, and judges coordinator, still with Ma'am Sally Palma, and judges assistant, 
Miss Marivic Bangiles, Miss Adele Generoso, Miss Dali Carion, Mr. Henry Malida, and Miss Karin De Maala. Yung in-charge naman po para sa mga pagkain, para hindi yes. maguto mga ating committee at lahat ng nagsisilbi dito, we have Ma'am Evelyn Foro, Ayan Foro, Sheila Marie Pahonar, Ivy Joy Abrigo, Ann Kaila Baliton, Conchita Gardose, Jeanette Cabaluna, April Exaline Pagunsan, and Mary Ann Licena. And also the food for mobile, we have Danilo Resmenia, Arniel Notada, Joselito Ponce de Leon, Jormac Padrigo. Arman Basas, Janky Famular, Rosalind Campos, Gelo Grace Gomez, and the food for our provincial budget, we have Norma Lu, Susan Makadagom, and Susan Balaes. And for the field marshals, ito, nagpapainit ito sila ngayon. Mr. Danilo Ignacio, Mr. Jesse Palmes, Mr. William Libanan, Mr. John Lorca, Mr. Romel Salanio, and Earl Ray Madres. And now we have for our synopsis readers and masters of these ceremonies, we have I myself, yours truly, Marlon Cirillo. And Joan Palacio. Yun ho lahat ang mga nagsilbi para sa aring street dancing showdown. So, we'll just wait, relax, and uh, listen sa atin mamayang awarding of prizes and announcement of the winners. Also, we would like to thank our, the provincial government of South Cotabato would like to thank the following major sponsors who played a vital role in the success of the 32th Foundation Anniversary and the 20th Tinalak Festival. We have Gemma Construction and Supply Incorporated, the Land Bank of the Philippines Coronel Branch, La Forteza Pharmacy, TransCycle, San Miguel Brewery Incorporated, FF Gopiteo Construction and Supply, KCC Mall of Marbel, FB Hotel and Convention Center, Berovan Marketing, Dole Philippines Incorporated, Philippine Veterans Bank, Development Bank of the Philippines, Sumifru Philippines Corporation, Sigma Marketing Incorporated and Petron Corporation, Globe Telecom Incorporated, Toyota Philippines, Unified Engineering Workers Multipurpose Cooperatives, PLDT, Ads Medical and Laboratory Supplies, and Mindanao Development Authority. We have also our event sponsors, the Raiden Builders, Philippine Spring Water Resource Incorporated, Sarangani Rack Mixer Incorporated, Dr. Arturo Pingoy Medical Center, Dietic Laboratory Supplies Company. And also we have for our support sponsors, we have St. Anthony Press, Sprinter Lumber Hardware and Auto Parts Incorporated, Gearbacks Auto Repair Shop, AFL Corporation and Vihera Dine and Cafe, Philippine Spring Water Resource Incorporated, Coradal Diagnostic Center. We would also like to thank our support sponsors, the Itix Motorcycle Park, Highlight Security Agency Incorporated, Corona del City Water District, Agreda Shell Station, Mahintana Foundation Incorporated, Sarangani Resources Corporation, Mindanao Integrated Commercial Enterprises Incorporated, Rosan Marketing Corporation, Argo Distributors Incorporated, Milman Enterprises, Octagen Systems Incorporated, Goldman Enterprises, Apareha Buko Halo Halo para sa mainit na panahon, 5J Peace Corporation, as Chef Catering and Event Concept, talagang naisingit ko yun, ano? VSSD Realty Development Corporation, Grace Silva Quarry Sand and Gravel, Chow King Drive Through, Desmart Motorcycle and Home Appliance, Centromed Philippines Corporation, Christine Pawn Shop, Federation of Sock Surgeon Samahang Nayon Cooperative, Universal Agri-Vet Supply, JB Haviliana Veterinary Supply, RCC Printing and Marketing, EEA Enterprise Intermotors Parts Supply. We have also JDF Heavy Equipment Parts Center, Coca-Cola Butlers Philippines Incorporated, the Ginhawa Marble Pulmonary Rehabilitation and Laboratory Center, Yellow Bus Line Incorporated, Marble Dynamics Builders, Chukim Enterprises, People's General Merchandise, Bataan Trading, Marble Southway Marketing, Cebu Gems Innovative and Career Development, Farmer's Bread, Global Diagnostic Company, Pinkis Pharmacy, Daniel Suganob Sand and Gravel, 
Tudoro Sun and Gravel, Zubinel Enterprises, Jomi Sagumilan Sun and Gravel, Twin Circle Marketing, Litar Sales and Services, Tropiland Enterprises, Home Solutions Depot Plus, Diordan Construction, and Hino General Santos Branch. Also, we'd like to thank Pera MPC Coronadal Branch, Better Work Construction, Aluot Foods and Meat Products, Knoon Souvenirs, True Money, Waternet, EEH Hardware and General Merchandise, AAA General Merchandise and Russell Deligro Sun and Gravel, Davao Domart Enterprises Co. Incorporated, Cephalin Tires and Services Corporation, Matutum Paint Trade Incorporated, Water Market, Ala Valley Medical Specialist Center Incorporated Hospital, Gabriela's Enterprises, Josefina Loria Quare, Emperador Distillers Incorporated, The Farm at Carpenter Hill, Audio Tech License Sounds, Macdo Coronadal Branch, Camellia Homes, South Key Print Shop, Virginia Foods Corporation, Pedro Matino Sand and Gravel, Cannery Multipurpose Cooperative, Polo Samahang Nayon Multipurpose Cooperative, MCOR, Donis Resto, and Unite Merchandising. Ayan ho, maraming maraming salamat po sa ating major and support sponsors because without you, hindi ho magiging ganito kasaya at kaganda ang ating celebration for 2019. Also, we would like to invite you again tonight here at SM Rock Complex. Let's be here for the Tenarak, a night of rock music at 7 p.m. Para doon sa mga hindi pinayagan ngayong umaga, mag-strategize na kayo kasi ang daming nareklamo sa Facebook Live natin. Hindi daw pinayagan ng nanay at ni tatay. Kaibiganin nyo na si teacher para kasama nyo si teacher. <laughs> Isang strategy yun. And also, we'd like to invite everyone for the fireworks display 10 p.m. tonight. See you here still at SM Raa Complex. Happy Tinalak Festival po, kaya dapat happy ang lahat. We would like to recognize our documenters, Jamin Pin and Company and Toto Elizar Garcia. Maraming salamat po. Also, we'd like to recognize our provincial administrator. Ngayon ko lang siya nakita, Attorney Renette Bergado. At saka sa kasiyang magandang kasama, Miss Melanie Chiva. At hindi ko nakuha ang isa pang magandang kasama. Ang, hindi ko nakuha lang pangalan. <laughs> okay, also we have our executive staff of the Provincial Governor's Office, Sir Rudy Jimenea and Company. Thank you very much. Para sa mga official so na hindi namin nakita dito sa bandang ang side namin, Happy Tinalak Festival po at good morning. Good morning pa tayo. Ngayon, hindi tayo inabot ng alas 12. Yes, and first time po. Yes, and we hope na hindi abuti ng alas 12 ang ating announcement of winners and awarding of prizes. Andiyan na, konting oras na lang. Alright, so we're going to transfer at the center stage for the announcement of the winners and the awarding of prizes. We would also like to acknowledge the mayor of Coronadal City, the Honorable Eliordo Ojena. Hello, sir. Happy Tinalok Festival okay, and sir. good morning. Ho. Hello, sir. Other local government officials, maraming salamat po.
We also like, like to recognize our major sponsors, TransCycle. We have Sir Moises Pascual and Ma Marian. Once again, the prices for our street parade champion, we have 50,000 plus the additional cash prize from TransCycle of 50,000 with a total of 100,000. Yes, we only have one winner for all the categories para sa street parade kanina, yung ginawa sa kalsada. So that would uh, give them 100,000 kasi may additional yes, na 50,000 ang ating uh, sponsor na TransCycle. And for the final showdown, we have the champion of 350,000. First runner-up, 300,000. And second runner-up of 250,000. For each category, we have the Mada Be'alan, Kasad Sagayan Alalan, and Kasadyahan sa Kapatagan. Wow! So for sure, our contingents are all sure winners. So, kadalawang best yes, kung lahat. binanggit ng sure, ha? Kasi sure na sure winners ako lahat sila. na they are all winners. And also, we have another award, the Best in Music with 10,000. Special Ayan, iba prize. Iba pa po yung ating Best in Music. There's another 10,000. Okay, ready na ba yung ating mga contingents? Again, we would like to invite all contingents here in front sa gitna ho na field yung uh, performance area natin para maging handa kayo sa ating announcement of winners and for the giving of prizes. We would also like to invite the choreographers and uh, coordinators, coordinators and to come forward po. para mas malapit ho at para mas, mas madali ninyong ma-receive ang inyong mga awards. Once again, calling for our contingents for the Madal Be'alan, we have Santa Cruz Mission School Incorporated, the Santo Nino National High School, and the Coronel Academy of Tampacan. Okay, requesting po natin yung ating mga choreographers, coordinators, and school officials with their principal. Also for the Kasadyahan sa Kapatagan, the Coronel National Comprehensive High School, and Tupi National High School. San po ang ating choreographers, coordinators, and school principals? Kung pwede po dito po mas, mas malapit sa stage para mas mabilis yung ating awarding ceremony. And as well, we have the Kadsagayan Alalan. There are three contingents from Edwards National High School, Christian School of Pulomolok, and Notre Dame of Santo Nino. Ayan, where are the other contingents? For the three categories. Ang bilis, nagbihis ng mga batang ito, bihis na sila. And of course, sa habol tayo mamaya, sa lechonan sa Bahay Kubo, the final judging of the Bahay Kubo competition. For sure, after ng uh, Bahay Kubo competition, ibibenta na nila yung kanilang yes, mga ma products. So, abangan natin yan. Masisail po yung mga Bahay Kubo natin. Yes, and still, nandyan pa rin po sa bandang uh, Rizal Park, yung atin hong mga tanim, yung mga bentang tanim. Murang-mura ho yung mga tanim na ibinibenta ng ating mga vendors. And also, may mga bentang cactus, flowers, dyan pa rin po sa harap ng Office of the Provincial Agriculturist. Okay, nandito na po yung result natin. So, requesting all choreographers, coordinators, and school officials na pong pwede po dito po sa harapan para mas mabilis po yung ating awarding ceremony. And now, we'll have the special prize first, the best in music. The best in music will receive 10,000 pesos. And the winner for best in music is the contingent from Notre, Notre Dame, Dame of Santo Nino, Municipality of Santo Nino, South Cotabato. Congratulations. We would like to request your coordinator and your choreographer, choreographer to please Mr. come forward and receive your cash prize. Requesting Mr. Reggie Villorente, the choreographer, and the coordinators, Joffrey D. Fabuna, Alvin 
Gonzalez and Rhea P. Suriga with school principals Jima de la Peña. Santo Nino Ascenso. Notre Dame of Santo Nino. Saan po yung mga coordinators natin? To For also, the awarding of uh, prize, we, we would also, like to request, andito na, nandito na, hindi nandito na kailangan yung request, Ma'am yeah, Luz Fontanilla, Fontanilla our, our chairperson person. of the committee, together our with... Our chairperson, Sir Honorable Edgar Sambog, and our provincial governor. Together with our provincial administrator, Attorney Renette Bergado, okay. ma'am. And also the uh, honorary chair. Honorary chair of the street dancing competition, we have the Honorable Edgar Sambog. And also, also we'd like to request our judges. judges na nagmi-meeting pa. <laughs> Our judges na nagmi-meeting pa, may we request you to please assist. Okay, once again, calling po yung best in music na Notre Dame of Santo Nino. Nandito na pa yung uh, coordinator? Yes. Also, we would like to give a special recognition na hindi ko po uh, na-recognize kanina our mayor from the municipality of Tiboli, Honorable Floro Gandam. Lake Cebu! No, sorry. Lake Cebu po. Lake Cebu. Ayan. First, first time ko po nakita si Mayor. Sorry po. Model family pa yata namin to. Yes po. Okay, wala pa ba yung ano, Santo Dave Santo Nino? Wala pa? Okay, so we will proceed with... Okay, later po. Wala po any representative from Notre Dame of Santo Nino? So also, we'll... we'd like to recognize... The Coronadal City IPMR, Indigenous People Mandatory Representative, Sir Victor Abing. Ayan. Okay. Now we have the official result for the Street Parade Champion. Also with our honorary chair, our chairperson, and attorney Bergada, we request also our representative from TransCycle, Mr. Moises Pascual and Ma Marian, to please be awarded the additional prize of 50,000. Bago ho kami mag-announce ng winners, we would like to see if kompleto na ang ating contingents on the field. We would like to start with Santa Cruz Mission School Incorpor Incorporated. Nasaan? Nasaan po kayo? Santa Cruz, eto, po. nasa harapan natin. Next, we have Santo Nino National High School. Where are you? Very good. How about Coronadal Academy of Tampakan Incorporated? Are you okay, there? Nandito yes, din. they are there. The Kasagayan Alalan, Edwards National, Edwards National High School. Oh, nandyan. Handang-handa para Christian sa cheer. Christian School of Polomolok. Nandito ba? Christian School of Polomolok, are you still there? Oh, nandyan sila pero hindi buo. Buuhin natin yan, ha? And Notre Dame of Santo Nino. Okay, ready, ready na sila. What about Corona the National Comprehensive High, High School? School? Where are you? And the Tupi National High School. Now, ready na po kayo. We will now Yan have the official Tupi, result nasa, for the Street Parade Champion. For the Street Parade Champion to receive 50,000 from the Provincial Government of South Cotabato and additional 50,000 from TransCycle. The winner is... Street Parade Champion is no other than Edwards National High School from the Municipality of Tiboli. Congratulations, Edwards National High School. Congratulations, Edwards National High School. You now have 100,000 pesos for winning the street parade. Okay, the Edwards National High School, who is the street, cha street parade champion, will have their performance again at 3 p.m. during the motorcade, before the motorcade of the TransCycle, this afternoon at 3 p.m. Moving the, on! In front of the South Cotabato Sports Complex. Okay. Moving on with the announcement of the three category winners. Okay, we will start with the Madal Belan category. Okay. We now have the official result of the Madal Belan category. Handa na ba kayo? Handa na 
ba kayo? Handa na sila Handa kami, na sila. hindi pa. So requesting po yung coordinators, choreographers po natin ng mga different contingents na dito na po sa harapan. All right, so while waiting for their official result of our three uh, categories, major prizes, our champion will receive 350,000. The first runner-up will receive 300,000 and the second runner-up of 250,000 for yeah. each three categories. Again, thank you so much. Of course, we would only not thank the uh, students, but also we would like to thank the parents, yung mga parents ho na pumayag para sumali itong mga batang ito, para mag-practice ng Sabado at Linggo. Mainit man o umulan, ay nagpa-practice sila. Maraming maraming salamat ho sa ating mga parents. At alam ko, nandito rin ho sila ngayon naghihintay kung sino ang i-declare na panalo ngayon dahil mas excited pa sila sa kanilang mga anak. Okay, before the result, requesting po, po ang ating choreographers, uh, coordinators, and school officials to be in front before the result. We have the Santa Cruz Mission School Incorporated requesting choreographer Larry Allen, Andrew Mike Uncal, coordinators Lish Libo Claris and Reden Esulo. And we're ready for the announcement of the Madalbe Land category. Okay, we'll start with the second runner-up. Then the first runner-up and the last is the champion. To receive 350,000 pesos. Ah, hindi. Unahin sa second runner-up. <laughs> Kinabahan to lang si attorney. Second runner-up, yung 250,000 pesos. Unahin natin yung 200,000. Excited kasi ako sa champion. Sorry. Okay. For the second runner-up to receive 250,000 pesos. The winner, uh, the second runner-up for the Madal Belen category is... Santa, Santa Cruz, Cruz Mission, Mission School, School Incorporated, Nicolón Junior, Junior High, High School. School from Lake Cebu. Requesting Sir Larry Allen, Andrew Mike Uncal, coordinators Lishley Boclaras and Redden S. Ulo to receive the award. Meron na lang tayong dalawang grupo na natitira. We have the Coronadal Academy okay, po si Mayor and the San si First Lady to receive the award po. And the Santo Nino National High School. Sino kaya ang mapalad na nanalo ng uh, Madalbetland category? Will it be the Coronadal Academy of Tampakan or will it be the Santo Nino National High School? Sino sa tingin niyo? All right, for the first runner-up to receive 300,000 pesos. For the Madal Belen category. Goes to Santo, Santo Nino National, National High School from, from the, the municipality, municipality of Santo Nino. Nino. Congratulations, Corona Dal Academy of Tampacan Incorporated. You are the, the champion, champion of the Madal Belen, Belen category. category. And you are going to receive 350,000 pesos. Okay, requesting from Santo Nino National High School, choreographer Richard Superio, coordinators Junal Selda, Joffrey Pabuna, and their school principal Stephen Salazar. As well as for the Corodal Academy of Tampacan, we have the choreographer Matillo T. Eno Jr., the coordinators Vincent S. Lumantal, and school principal Alex O. Makol. Congratulations, Corodal Academy of Tampacan Incorporated, as champion for the Mada Belan category. Next up will be the announcement of the Kasadiyahan sa Kapatagan official result. We only have two contenders for the Kasadiyahan sa Kapatagan yes, which will receive... Sila. Champion and first runner-up. And they're going to receive how much, Kuya? The champion will receive the 350,000 and the first runner-up, 300,000. Lahat po ay siguradong mananalo at may ma-receive na award.
And sino kaya ang worth to be announced champion for this year's kasadyan sa kapatagan category? Okay, we will first we will announce, announce the first, first the runner first runner-up. Runner up. Okay. And then followed by the champion, of course. Kung sino man ang hindi natawag, siya ang automatically magiging champion. Will it be Coronadal National Comprehensive High School or Tupi National High School? Parehong malakas. Okay. Parehong malakas na school Ready ito. Ready na ba kayo? Ready na ba kayo? Okay. Kanina pa. So, let us now have the first runner-up to the receive 300,000 300, pesos. pesos. For the kasadyahan sa kapatagan, first runner-up goes to Tupi National, National High, High School, School from the Municipality of Tupi. Coronadal National Comprehensive High School, you are the, the champion, champion of for the kasadyahan sa kapatagan, kapatagan category. So we we'll request the Tupi National High School choreographer Richard Superior and the coordinators Jacqueline Losala, John Enrico Peng, Alan Cordova, John Ray Felicida, and Ian Vasquez with the school principal Simplicio Baliesa to receive the award. And congratulations, Coronel National Comprehensive High School. Their choreographer Ronnie Elacuesta, Kier Penuela, Ronnie Paraguya, and Sepa Rojas with coordinators Michael Floyd G. Telendo, Sharon Y. Somera, Marela L. Ferrer, Elric Batilaran, and Benhur Abulencio with their principal Valentin Dignadisi to receive your championship award. Okay, two people, and your representative for Tupi National High School as first runner-up for Kasadyahan sa Kapatagan. We have one more category left. So wag na nating patagalin to para hindi na masyadong mainit sa part ng ating mga estudyante. We will call first the second runner-up, followed with first runner-up, and then the champion. Still, the second runner-up will receive 250,000 pesos, first runner-up 300,000 pesos, and champion 350,000 pesos. Sino kaya sa tingin nyo ang nanalo? Will it be Christian School of Palomalok? Edwards National High School or Notre Dame of Santo Nino. Handa na ako, kaya i-a-announce na, na namin. <laughs> okay, Our for, second runner-up for Katsagayan Alalan goes to Christian, Christian School, School of Polomolok, Polomolok from Polomolok the Municipality Polomolok. of Polomolok. Congratulations. Okay, Christian School of Polomolok requesting choreographer Ayan Rusander Apitong. Coordinator Marvin M. Totimo and School Principal Elaine I. Totimo. Okay, requesting also the Corodal National Comprehensive High School to receive your award as champion for the Kasadyahan sa Kapatagan. Of course, we will call first the first runner-up and then automatically, kung sino ang hindi matatawag, siya ang magiging champion ng Kadsagayan Alalan category. Our first runner-up runner for the Kadsagayan Alalan, first runner-up goes to... Ayan, medyo nagulo na kami dito. <laughs> Paulit-ulit na kami, excited pa kami kesa sa inyo. Again, our first runner-up for... For Katsagayan, the Katsagayan Alalan, Alalan category is no other than Edwards, Edwards National High School, High School from the Municipality of Tipoli. Automatoy, may ipit na. Okay. <laughs> Our champion for this year's Katsagayan Alalan is no other than Notre, Notre Dame, Dame of, of Santo, Santo Nino from the Municipality of Santo Nino. Congratulations. Winners! Congratulations everyone because you are all winners. Maraming maraming okay. salamat po. Okay, requesting po yung ating coordinators and choreographer for Notre Dame of Santo Nino and Edwards National High School to please receive your award.
All right, before we end this program, we would like to announce meron po tayong lost and found. BDO, MasterCard, credit card po ito ni Calvin John M. Saison. Pakikuha na lang po dito sa committee. Another lost and found wallet. Hindi ko alam okay. kung pareho ang may-ari nito. May mga laman hong pera. Okay, requesting the second runner up for Katsagayan Alalan Christian School of Pulomulok. Please receive your award here at the stage. I guess ang nagmamayari ho ng wallet ay isa sa mga guardians ng contenders kasi meron hong nakalagay dito na permission slip. Also, the first runner-up for Edwards National High School for Katsagayan Alalan and the champion Notre Dame of Santo Nino from the municipality of Santo Nino, South Cotabato. Again, we have a lost and found credit card and wallet na may lamang pera. Siguro ang mamaari nito ay guardian or kasamahan ng ating mga contenders kasi merong permission slip sa loob. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now come to the end of the showdown but we're not yet done with the celebration. Let's enjoy the tinarak and fireworks display tonight. We sincerely hope that you have enjoyed yourself. We would like to thank all of you for being such a great audience and for making this an unforgettable experience. Madamo, salamat sa inyo tanan. Happy Tinalak Festival 2019. Okay, all cash prices. Please uh, claim at the provincial budget office. Thank you very much. Okay, please claim our Katsagayan Alalan second runner-up. Please claim your prize, Christian School of Pulomolok. Here at the stage. Okay, requesting also our Board of Judges to please receive your certificate. Okay, Edwards National High School, first runner up, Christian School of Pulomolok. And Christian School of Pulomolok, wala pa? Okay. Okay, thank you very much. So, the certificates for our Board of Judges. And na bigay na po ba? Okay. Okay, thank you very much, our member of the Board of Judges.
Tamo na gama ko. Tamo ko ng kadao. Kaya manya ba siya manya? Manya ba siya siguro na ilitan? Manya, manya ibalin yun na sa performers kaya hindi na ako gusto.